All right, thought I'd make a quick video update. It's, uh, got 5,200 miles on the truck now. Had it a good while. Um, I wanted to do a MPG, like a real world MPG test. Cause number one, I haven't been very impressed thus far. Just off the bat, I'll tell you that. Um, I do like having the bigger tank. The 48 gallon tank is really nice. Um, I reset the trip meter last time I filled up. It was completely full. I fill the truck up the same way every time where I, you know, fill it up, let it sit for a minute and then top it off. So I let all the air bleed out of the, the tank. Um, but haven't been crazy impressed with MPG at this point. Now I do have a heavy right foot, so I'm not doing like launches out of the hole where I'm, you know, pedal to the metal or anything like that. But I do tend to drive, you know, I'm going slow right now on purpose on the freeway. I'm doing 69, 70, but I typically run between 75 and 77 on the freeway, just out here in California. That's kind of the going rate. Um, but this tank, this was a good one to kind of do this on because this is a good mix of everyday driving for me i've got freeway on here i've got around town there is no towing on this but it's good everyday mixed use type um driving so i did i went to san francisco and back on friday night went down to a giants game um so that was mostly freeway but it was a little bit of stop and go traffic i've got trips to and from the shop which i'm heading back from the shop right now just drop the trailer off but um, yeah so this was I think I filled up last Wednesday and I'm, I'm it's Sunday now Sunday night so I'm gonna top off we'll do the calculation as far as how many miles I went um, right now on this trip I've got 583 miles 139 miles to empty computer says I've got 16.6 mpg and I've got 15 hours and 40 minutes of runtime. Um, you can see that miles to empty is at 139 and I'm just under a quarter tank. That thing, I know it recalculates often based on the type of driving you're doing, but it doesn't seem to be very accurate. Um, the last time I filled up, I ran that thing down to like 20 miles to empty and I only put 44 gallons in the truck. So it had another four gallons in it to go 20 miles. I get it. You really don't want to run out of fuel on one of these because, you know, that's a big deal on a diesel. Um, but I don't know. It's just a, I don't, I'm not worried about that at all, but you would think it would be more accurate than quadruple the mileage that you really have left I would say you know if I had four gallons left I worst case I'm getting 15 miles a gallon around town that's 60 instead of 20 I think it, I think it actually got down to like 16 miles or something like that till empty so um, I don't know either way I'll uh, I'm gonna stop this video and I'll I'll cut in when I've uh, when I've filled up just pulling into the fuel station here. Fuel in California. Diesel, 709 a gallon, 699. Cash price are on the, the Arco card like I run. But yeah, that's crazy, man. 709 a gallon. But as you can see, see that just ticked up to 140, so. 586, average 16.6. See you in a second. All right. We clicked a couple, like a minute ago. At 37 gallons, about 260 bucks. So, you know, I always pull it one more time until it clicks just to top it off. And that's how I do it every time, so it's accurate at least. 37.825. I don't love the
the I like the Dodge better, the Ram. Had someone get on me about calling it a Dodge. Good work. I like the just the press in deal better. But uh alright. So that's 37.825. And we went 586.4. So 586.4 divided by 37.825. 37.825 equals 15.5. And that thing says 16.6. .6. So it's off by a mile per gallon at least for that trip and i think if i scroll up here it says fuel economy 16.1 so i don't know i mean for being half freeway and then half uh I'll go ahead and zero this out because i'm gonna keep track of this i'm gonna do it again so that's zeroed out for being half I'd say maybe a little less than half freeway, maybe 40% freeway and 60% around town, averaging 15.5. I don't know. It is a 355 rear end. It is a long bed, but stock tires, you know, 10 speed transmission. I just would have expected it to be a little better than that. Maybe I'm wishful. But, um, I don't know, man. Seems like, <laughs> seems like you could do better with, uh, maybe, maybe I just have a heavy foot. I don't know. But shoot me some, shoot me some comments. What are you guys getting fuel economy wise in one of these things? I'm curious because my, uh, my, my Dodge, my Ram, that was a 16, 2500 leveled on 35s it got better than that you know it it averaged 16 plus um and that's a six speed what it was a 342 rear end i don't know and that thing was 130,000 miles you know um just curious what you guys are getting but i wanted to shoot you a real world update i'm sure on the freeway if it was all freeway and i was doing you know 72 73 i could probably squeeze uh i could probably squeeze 18 miles a gallon out of it but i've heard of guys that say oh man i'm getting 21 on the freeway i don't see how that's possible but maybe i'm wrong i am going down to livermore i'm going down to the bay area tomorrow so maybe just for shits and giggles i'll i'll do the pump test like that again you know it'll be mostly freeway um maybe i'll maybe i'll do a a test like that and i'll try to keep it like under 75 and just see what it does like on the way down there or something like that we'll see but for now take care all right we're doing the we're doing the freeway test got cruise set at 75 you can see i'm still at 5200 and whatever miles got a full tank look at our trip has gone up by 100 miles because we're now on the freeway type deal compared to yesterday so beautiful monday today we're heading out to livermore sorry i'm on this guy's ass but uh it's about a hundred mile trip all in um so i'll stop after roughly 100 miles and we'll see what the what the freeway mpg calculates out to we're about 50 miles into it up the Altamont Pass right here. Bit of a climb. Um, I kind of forgot about this, that it was going to be a bit of a climb here. But no biggie. It's about a 8 to 10 mile stretch, I would say. Um, I'm still just doing... I've been averaging like between 68 and I'd say we're flattening it out here now. 68 and 75 this whole trip on fairly flat ground other than this pass so it will be a good uh a good highway speed test you know for 
99% of the uh, of the drive here. I think we're 100 and about 120 miles in. Computer says 21.0. I did see that as high as 21.6. You can see the miles to empty have gone way up. Uh, 914 remaining, and we're 119 miles in. So. Maybe the key is is keeping it under, uh, keeping it under 75, keeping it in that low 70s range. You know, most of my freeway driving, I'm in the fast lane. Like I've said, um, usually hauling ass to try to get to where I'm going. You know, doing 77 to 80 at times. But maybe the key to way better fuel mileage is to just stay in this second lane and just cruise. So we'll see. Let's top it off. 789 a gallon. Five point seven gallons. Point seven four four. Two five point nine divided by five point seven four four. Twenty one point nine. Wow. That says twenty one point two. So on five point seven gallons of gas, we went one hundred and twenty five point nine miles. 125.9 divided by 5.744 that's impressive well I stand corrected from what my original uh, thought was going to be on this that you know I thought no way in hell could you get 21 22 miles a gallon but that's a 125 mile test fairly flat ground we did have a little that about a 10 12 mile climb there nothing crazy but i averaged i would say 68 to uh, the, the highest i probably went was 74 75 miles an hour you can see two hours and 15 minutes and that's excluding the four miles to and from the from the gas station to the house last night. So that's very impressive actually. That makes me feel a little better. So that last uh, that last tank that was 15 and a half miles per gallon, that, um, I'm gonna zero this out cause I am gonna continue to kind of track this. So that last tank that was the 15 and a half miles per gallon, that, um, that was probably, like I said, 40% freeway. And I was driving like I normally drive, you know, doing 77 to 80. We were heading back and forth from San Francisco, went to a Giants game. Um, and the rest was around town, you know. So um, moral of the story, keep your foot out of it, mind your speed. And these things get pretty damn good gas mileage for... You know, this is an F-350 long bed with a 355 rear end um, stock wheel tire setup. That's uh, that's pretty impressive. 21.9 for, you know, doing a responsible speed on the, on the freeway, we'll call it. That's, you know, I'm doing, we'll call it an average of 70, between 68 and 74 miles an hour. Average of 70, 71. So, interesting hope this helps somebody i know this might be a little bit of a choppy video but um, just real world mpg from a, a normal truck owner take care